Have you ever seen your parents do this? Reading glasses are often associated with helping older people read, but it turns out to be much more than that. Today, we'll be taking a look at what ready-made glasses are, when you should be using them, and how it compares to a prescription pair of glasses. When I was younger, I used to always look at older people and wonder, why do they need reading glasses to read? Do our eyes just get progressively worse as we age? Turns out, it's partly true. As we age, the crystalline lens becomes more and more rigid and therefore becomes more difficult to flex. If the lens cannot be bent freely, then focusing on near objects becomes almost impossible. This is why you see people in their 60s use something like a plus two pair of glasses just to help them read. I did a video a while back about the life cycle of an eye and what we can expect as we age. Feel free to watch that in your own time if you like. In that video, I mentioned that most people endure without reading glasses up until the age of about 45, and that's when they resort to either reading glasses or multifocals. And unfortunately, the same will happen to you. Every time I walk past the pharmacy, the first thing that catches my attention is the reading glasses stand. They range from powers from plus one, and I think the highest I saw was about 350, but I'm sure somewhere in the world they'll be selling higher. I look at the reading glasses stand and wonder, what do people think about them? They don't seem to have any instructions on what they are and how they should be used. And this has led to some people coming into the clinic feeling very guilty about using these glasses. I I'm sorry, Antonio, I know I shouldn't be using these, uh, but they've been helping me and, but, but I'm here now, I'm here now. How could you? Just kidding. Before you run into the same situation, I'll tell you the real difference between what ready-made glasses are versus prescription ones. Firstly, the numbers displayed on these glasses are in the units of diopters. They refract light stronger as you increase the dioptric power. Your prescription glasses also share the same unit of diopters, but with a prescription pair, as the name suggests, it's uniquely customized to your eyes. Okay then, what goes into making a prescription pair of glasses? A prescription pair of glasses will in most cases include six to eight different numbers that we have to take into account. The spherical power, the cylindrical power, the axis, and in some cases, the near add. Times that by two, because we have two eyes, and you have about eight different numbers. To simplify, they are a measure of your eyeball's axial length, shape, and age. Obviously, these numbers are going to vary quite significantly between every individual, so there is no one size fits all. If you take a look at ready-made glasses, they will label one number. This is sort of in a way an average of the six to eight different numbers we saw earlier. If the average of your glasses prescription works out to be exactly the same as the ones labeled in the ready readers, then consider yourself lucky. You shouldn't have any major issues using ready-made glasses. If you know how to work out the average yourself, then awesome. But if you don't, the best person to ask is your optometrist. What I would do is I would ask the optometrist whether or not your prescription comes close to the ready-made ones that you see at the pharmacy and whether it is okay for you to be using them. Whenever I get a patient in the clinic that has a prescription that comes very close to the ones in the ready readers, I usually tell them, having a prescription pair of glasses will give you the best vision and it'll help you be more productive when you're on the computer and reading. But if you just want multiple glasses that you can abuse, then using the ready readers shouldn't matter too much. The biggest gripe I have with these ready-made glasses is that it could potentially mask any symptoms that are caused by an eye disease. What if it was something serious and ready-made glasses just made things temporarily clearer, they never get it checked out and they start losing eyesight? Not great. In most developed countries, ready-made glasses are considered a class one medical device which means they can be sold over the counter as long as they clearly label that this is not a substitute for prescription glasses. The way I treat prescription glasses is the exact same as how I treat pharmaceutical prescriptions. If your doctor prescribed you, let's say, a hand cream for your dry hands, and it turns out that that prescription tube is the exact same ingredient as the one sold in the supermarket, then you shouldn't have any major issues using either or. But if that cream was specifically formulated for your skin, then that becomes a different story. Same thing with your glasses. If your prescription turns out to be the exact same as the ready-made ones over the counter, then it shouldn't really matter which one you use. Albeit this happens very rarely because averaging six to eight numbers usually don't yield a nice clean single digit number. 
But unfortunately for people with astigmatism like myself, ready-made glasses are not an option as they do not correct astigmatism, which means that I'm stuck with prescription glasses for the rest of my life. Yay me. But with that being said, I'm going to end the video here. If you learned something new, or at least found something useful, then yay, thumbs up to you. If you want a thumbs up back, then that would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.